in Canterbury there's 29 community gardens, so uh, they're very popular in this region. And uh, our garden is uh, very community orientated. I think that we're very accepting here, we're open to everyone can come in, they can learn skills of gardening, they can share their knowledge, they can interact, they can feel safe and needed, uh, so it provides a huge, a huge thing. I think the biggest thing is the connection with one another um, and then also the healthy food is the big thing too. I love it, absolutely love it. But I love gardening anyway, I love the fact that it's organic, so it's entirely spray free. And I love the fact that it combines community with gardening. Oh, the reason I like it is because you get the food out of it. <laughs> All the greens. <laughs> This place means a lot to me. I, I lived in New Brighton for about 20 years and I've done a lot of other social working kind of roles where I've seen people very isolated in their lives, particularly if you've got dependents or low income or um, having out your young children or sickness, something that limits your world gets smaller. So for people to be able to walk or easily get to a local facility, have a place where there's something to do, part of being part of a group, I think those, uh, it's easy to underestimate those things and how much they can add to a person's well-being or s stop someone from tipping into depression or the limits, the limited world of just your own life and your own house, go to the shops and back, it's, people meet other people here, they become in other groups that are involved in other groups that are happening here or other people tell them about. So it just opens up their world and often leads to, um, lead to jobs sometimes, employment, or just getting confidence back, socialising. And... So it looks like a simple garden, it looks like simple activities, but the things in life that really, really um, factor in well-being are going on here.